So guys, hope you're well. I'm such a diagnostic world. This is a short video to show you the iCarsoft i909 kit, which is a multi-system diagnostic tool for Mitsubishi and Mazda vehicles. Um, as you can see, it's quite compact. I can hold it in the palm of my hand. Um, while doing the diagnosing, obviously this connection here goes into the diagnostic port of your vehicle. Um, I'm just gonna run through a few of the, uh, the box contents and a few of the, uh, the features and sort of the advantages of getting the iCars off tool over another, uh, another uh, diagnostic tool, for example. Um, first of all, I'll run through a few of the, uh, the box contents. I'll show you the diagnostic tool itself here. Now this is the diagnostic tool, as you can see there. It has a sticker over the screen at the moment, which is why you can see what appears to be writing on there. Um, it has serial number information on the back. Uh, this cable connects to the diagnostic port of your vehicle. That's a 16 pin diagnostic port. And on the bottom there, we see a little port for a USB cable to go in so that we can update the scan tool when necessary. All right, there's plenty of length on this cable as well so that you can put the, uh, the diagnostic cable in the port and then sit in the driver's seat or the passenger seat and do your diagnosing. Um, it also comes with a user manual in a few different languages. Um, gives you information on basically the, uh, the basic operating instructions and also how to update. You need to download an update tool to, uh, which connects to the internet to actually update the scan tool. Updates generally come about every three months. Um, updates will generally serve their purpose to, say for example, if you're trying to diagnose an airbag fault, let's say for example, on a Mitsubishi, and then you've, you've, so you've, you've got your tool and it says connection error, something like that. Um, this will be reported to the iCarsoft company, who will then look to find a fix or a, uh, a resolution for the, uh, the problem, and then they'll, they'll update their software, which is then, um, sent through to the scan tool and then it'll allow you to do the update and then next time you check or do the diagnostic you should it should work and it should give you the, the relevant fault code. All that made sense, it didn't make sense to me really much but there we go. Um, so as I say you've got your user manual here, you've got your cable, one end goes into the USB, one end goes into the bottom of the diagnostic tool itself and then of course we've got the, uh, the, the box here, actually within the box should have had this out there. There's a handy carry pouch as well, so you can put your tool in there. It's quite handy to put your tool in here. Uh, you can keep, maybe keep this box in the house, but the, uh, the carry pouch with the tool inside, what we advise you to do is keep it in your vehicle at all times because, as you know, you never know when your vehicle is going to get a fault. And if your vehicle goes into uh, limp mode, for example, you could be stuck in a motorway where your vehicle has limited your maximum speed to say 30 miles an hour. Um, this kit will get you out of limb mode. Um, even if it clears the fault temporarily until you get it checked out uh, either professionally or checked out uh, when you're back at home, when you've got more time to look at the fault codes, look at the meanings, it will give you a fault code, a unique fault code, which is a combination of numbers and letters. And it will also give you a fault description. So say for example, you might get a fault code while searching uh, in the airbag system for P, I don't know, I'm just making this up, P1249. Um, it'll say a brief description underneath saying something like um, uh, airbag passenger side squid resistance too low. Um, so it gives you an indication that something wrong with the passenger side airbag. It's probably going to be the connections underneath the seat, something like that. Um, but that's basically what the tool will do. As I say, Mitsubishi and Mazda vehicles. Um, what else is there? I'm sure I was going to mention something else. System wise, it will cover a lot of systems. Your generic scan tools, your cheaper scan tools, they will only cover the engine. Um, and believe me, we've tried them. We've tried a lot of the cheaper versions. Although you think your, your, your engine might not have a fault when diagnosing with these cheaper systems, um, think again, try again because. These cheaper systems, they won't pick up half of the faults that are actually occurring within your engine module. Um, this is a slightly more advanced tool. It will, it has more diagnostic protocols. It can, it can communicate better with your engine module. And not only that though, but it will communicate with other systems like ABS, uh, transmission, airbags, 
uh, you, and, and lots more as well. Uh, there are lots of systems, believe it or not, within your company. That's, you used to gone on the days where you, you just had a, an engine control module. Uh, that was sort of the early days of diagnostics. Things have moved on. And every system now has uh, its own ECU, its own you know, module, its own little computer, if you like. Um, so it's, it's all connected up and you can find a fault and you can reset faults and repair faults with this diagnostic tool. Um, now it is available from our website, uh, which you can see right there, www.diagnostic-world.com. Uh, click the link directly below this video if you are watching this on YouTube, where you should be able to take this uh, link directly to the, uh, the, the product on our website. And also if you want to have a look at the, um, the listing on our website and also our YouTube channel, you will find more videos of this kit actually being used in the vehicles that we, uh, we mentioned there. Um, so it's a, it's a highly recommended tool. I would, I would highly recommend getting it over generic scan tools. We do sell generic scan tools, so it's not as if I'm trying to get you to buy this and not somebody else's product. We do sell cheaper diagnostic tools. Um, but if you, if you can't stretch that a little bit more, you'll reap the rewards because this tool is 10 times better than any generic scan tool out there. Um, so thanks for watching and I hope this video helps.